and be welcome guys to the port 2 where we're gonna see how to make the red topology of these simple elements I, I'm not so happy with that but let me see or I could open a little bit here in this part or I could make different something more like that But um, yeah, I think that I'm gonna move just this part a little bit with the high polish brush because uh, remember that I said I'm gonna make curved this part curved and not flat, so I have difference about these two ways. Okay, so let me save again. I have a problem with saves. <laughs> I always gonna save and I don't like to use quick save because quick save sometimes can, it can crashes my zebra. So I prefer save handily. Okay, uh, let me export it because it will be the high poly. So let me export, let me see here. Let me export, let me see geometry, it's okay, that's good, it's a necessary to create ID, nothing, so let me export, select that, as normal, that's okay, and let me create a new folder, bakes, so two bakes, and zero one is ten, AP high poly. Let me see if it the correct name them. Uh, let me use the Google Translator. The stem, yeah? Stem. stem. Trunk can be, I think, yeah. Trunk. Let me set it as a trunk. I don't know if it's correctly, but well, guys. Trunk. Trunk. High poly. Oh, uh, yeah. So let me export it first and then we're gonna use the decimation and ex uh, export to using GoZ to Maya. So now we can use the decimation, it can be 1.2 maybe, preprocess current and we're gonna send it to Maya to make the red topology. Let's go, let's go, let's go, my friend. Almost done. Operation complete and this image current. Awesome. Let me press on air. Maya currently. That's okay. So let me send to Maya. And here we go. Where are you, my friend? Well, well, well. Where are you? Where are you? Come on. Let me save it. Oh, it's here. Yeah, I could move in ZBrush, move up a little bit, but that's okay. Let me turn off this guy here. And let's go. Let me see. I'll be. Let him apply a new material just to have a hardy new material just to have a different color. Come on, my friend. Why you are so bad with me? Why you are not working? Why? You don't want work or probably have some tab in another place. No. Well, I gonna force it. <laughs> it's done. And let me just click on live surface, modern toolkit, quite raw. We could also maybe start with a uh, cylinder maybe let me see here this guy 
Mm -hmm. Body count can be 16, maybe. Yeah, I think it's enough. So let me come here and delete the cap. Why you are not working? It's really. My hotkeys isn't working. Well, it's so strange. Let me close my again. Pause here very fast. Open it again. I have this delay. Let me just check if it will work or not. Now it's working. Good. Delete. ZBrush. Cozy. Return to Maya. Hmm. Gozi again. Yeah. Why you were on this way? Let me just test. Yeah, it's work. Well. Let's go, normal life of a 3D artist. Set subdivision axis 16, can be. And let me del delete. These things, that's okay. And wow. Let me see your frontal camera can be. And let me make it handily. More or less on this way. This way. Oh, and we have this a problem here. That problem gonna have some elements. So let me add a connect component. Detach, mesh separate, mesh detach. Edit mesh detach, mesh separate. That's good. And let me move more or less until here can be. And here more or less. And here. And let me add a loop here, component. And same with this guy here. Because it will be more helpful for us to make the oops, perspective, red topology. Oh, and I have this problem here. Let me delete this guy. Or not, let me add connect component. And here, let's see if it will work or not. Then we can increase. First, I like to solve the big parts and then I like to organize the other parts. So let mesh combine, live, modeling toolkit, quad draw, and scale. Yeah, good. Also, quad row, and I can organize these parts. So this is the secret. You work calmly, but have a strategy. Let me select this guy here. I can try to move more or less to this part. I don't know why Maya is doing it, but... And yeah, probably here we're gonna open this part also, but that's good. And same with this part. Scale and more or less here. Now let me fix these elements. So let's go. Let me 
Let's see here. Let me try to solve this part first also. So let me see how we could we can make it can make it let me first work on the let me remove this guy here and I gonna try to figure out the elements so let me use the bridge yeah let me check no has not worked why you has not worked oh probably because we have this we have a point here Esther point here too oh my god probably some mistake that i did with uh with bridge yeah let me remove it control d no control d it's blender delete only delete yeah let's here and let me check this guy and this guy and bridge awesome let me see that yeah can be can be can be guys let me see something like that mm, yeah so how you can see the landmarks the cavities i will not make a retopology for it just I gonna make the mesh on it. That's okay. Let me add a loop here. Maybe another here and another here to decide with. That's okay. Here. Create other guy here. Oops. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let me extrude it. Maybe let me see if it will works or not. Control A and I can scale it. let me we're gonna check if it will be enough or not and always you need keep in mind that when you are doing red topology or these stuffs so you need make it calmly don't try to rush with that i think we need more so i press ctrl z ctrl z and i gonna add two here maybe on this way and then the other parts we can merge it to them hey guys just to remind you that we have new premium course every month uploaded on udemy and skillshare where you can assess a lot of different content for you learn improve and grow as an artist 
We have all of our course available to watch and learn from right now. New workflows, techniques, tips and tricks, and now it learning from industry veterans and experts. You can check the description down here and Skillshare is offering one free month trial to the premium membership. With this membership, you are going to be able to access all of our course and watch and learn all of these amazing things that we cover with all of the softwares. So what are you waiting for? Check our course down here below. So, yeah, Ctrl E, scale, Ctrl A, sorry. Let me move it. I like to work on this way because it's easier than try to make one by one. And now I can rotate the pivot, pressing D. And I'm gonna have something more organized. Isn't perfectly, but it works. Would be better, have a, I think I needed to make an extrude, but that's okay, it will works. So let me fix this part. And you need to remember that each artist, each person has your um, workflow and design and all these stuffs, the way that each person like to work. Probably here we're gonna have some problems because we will need more polygons. But that's enough. That is enough for now. And yeah, be patient and work calmly. Mm, yeah, you're also. So, I can use triangle. Oh, then you're gonna use triangle. Yeah, my friend. Yeah, of course. Of course, yes. That's okay. Why this part? It's a face. It's enough. It's not perfectly called the more optimized, but that's okay. Uh, here can be. Let me run a little bit. Let me see here, triangle. That's okay. That's okay. So let me select all these guys here and scale a little bit. Yeah, quads raw, and we can work on this way. Let me see here. This part. Let me see here. Yeah, it can be. Let me see here. When I am doing retopology, it's a little more hard for me to talk something, but well, it's the life. Oh, yeah. Let him add here. 
have some curve here or not? No, no, that's enough. That's enough. That's okay. And let me see. I think that here we can optimize it and remove a loop. Keep just a triangle there. This region, yeah. And here also. Just keep the side width, but we don't want a lot of loops. I'm focusing on the side width a little bit, but let me smooth a little bit this region. Yeah, good distance also. It's enough. Yeah, we need to just finish it, make the same thing here. Here it's a little different, but well, because we have just a half. So let me try to make a little different. And let, and let me test it. Oh yeah, and the loop here, remove this guy and let me test how it will works. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to make first what I'm thinking, then I decide how I'm gonna optimize it. So I can divide here. Maybe. Let me think about. Oh my god. Maybe here and here. Good. This point here can be a triangle here. That's good. And here. And it's enough, maybe. I don't know. I think that's okay. Just like an extrude mm, yeah can be can be guys yeah that's okay and now let me see how I can fix it to to do, 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 do. Yeah. So that's okay. And here, the same part here. Mm, and we need a loop here. this way yeah good and be here yeah that's okay make more sense but here I have too much yeah it's enough It's enough. I think that's okay. Yeah. Let me select this these guys here scale on the Y X. Press Ctrl E to extrude and scale here also. 
quad draw and here I can add some loops yeah and here I think that control E again and scale quad draw and maybe I could oops select the vertex merge vertices to the center and yeah it's enough we could make better with a better transition extrusor and all these stuff but the idea here is it's the more it's more it's to get more uh some studies it's like to study something so just let me create this vibe no Ooh. that's okay but this part here isn't good I don't know. I would. I don't want. I didn't want uh, make too much details. So, but well, some parts will be necessary. Yeah, it's the life. So, reduce a little bit of polygons. Yeah, it's enough. Here we have other landmarks, but that's okay. This one also. Yeah. Three points. yeah that's okay so now what i gonna do it the loop here and make the same thing that i did on top scale control e and scale it let me see i think it's okay for the bottom part So now I'm gonna select this guy here, control to vertices and oops, shift merge vertices to the center, quad draw and I think that's okay. Yeah. Yeah guys, yeah. Here also I can optimize a little bit it. Here I have a cut, but that's okay also. Isn't perfectly, but that's okay. That's cool, that's okay. Let me isolate it, mesh play, soften edge. Turn off the grid. And that's cool. Let him turn off the life and the cool part that we can scale then to create something more like that. Yeah, I think that something like that it will be better. The cool part that is I can use the UV editor and go to UV automatically just to make fast test file export selection gonna select the bakes folder and I'm gonna set it like wood trunk I think it's trunk trunk underline LP from low poly and export now I'm gonna open the substance painter just to see the quality of the normal map so it's just to make a 
a fast test, quickly test with the normal map for key. Let me select PBR, metal roughness of plant, start asset. Let me select bakes. Oh, oh, I drank LP01. Oh, cold be just drunk to have a better nomenclature. Drunk LP, press OK. Uh, let me go to active, uh, active temporal anti-aliasing to remove the anti-aliasing a little bit. And quality high can be. That's OK. And now, just to make quickly test, I can go to bake mesh and add the trunk high poly. Uh, some problem probably because I have scaled. <laughs> uh, I'm going to scale it then when I have the bakes done. Yeah. So now let him go to export selection, trunk LP and not Obijo. I don't want Obijo. Let me FBX. Oh my God. Let me see. Go export selection. FBX export. And I'm gonna rename it like LP. Yeah, let me open here. And let me see here this guy. Let me open this another return to pine mode, edit project configuration. Let me select this guy here. LP new update. Oops, so it's the another. This other, yeah. So let me delete here this old version. So now I can bake mesh just to make the test for key. Add the trunk high poly. Now it's a work well. Yeah, it can be. And I'm gonna just bake the normal map just to test. Oops, I have some problem here. Let me see here. I forgot to all update the automatically UV. Automatically export selection. Crank LP, yes. So now let me return to Substance, Edit, Reimport Mesh. Edit, Project Configuration. So let me select Trump LP again. Why is not working? Oh, probably. UV Editor, UV Sets. Where are you? Let me add a new material. Why, my friend, you can't work? So let me go to UV set editor. UV editor, I would like to see the UV sets. No, yeah, only map one. So let me just export selection. Uh, trunk underline low, just to I have another file and now I can open. Go to edit project configuration here into the substance painter. Oh, I need that to turn off this preserve. So let me select the, the trunk low and turn off the preserve stroke position. Yeah, now it's working. Bake mesh and bake. Mm, -da. Yeah, now it's working well. Yeah, just to see the overall idea. Uh, basically, what we, we can do, it's only increase a little bit. The, yeah, it's fix some parts here. The UV I have some problems here. 
that we can increase it. But it's working well. I like to make this fast and this quickly test just to check if uh, it's all working well. And in the next video, we're gonna increase a little bit the, the UV, just some parts, and then we're gonna start this during. So yeah, so now for example, we could scale it something like that, for example, because I already have the UV and the bake. So for example, if I export it, like trunk low and go to edit project configuration and select the trunk low we're gonna have different proportion but with the same bakes and same uvs yeah it's better how oh, you can see i really love this workflow so is it guys and in the next video we're gonna see how to make the tour. so Please enjoy the video, share with your friends, suggestions, comment, and is it? See you in the next video.